Welcome to AP Chemistry. So pick up your pencil, grab whatever you need. We're not in the lab today, I'm sorry, but I'm still making it fun. I promise today we'll learn the common polyatomic ions. You need this if you want to succeed. And I know memorization's a bit of a pain, but you're gonna love it, you'll see. First off, what's an ion? An atom or a molecule with more or less electrons than it typically has. You see, when a chlorine atom seals them from a sodium, the ions bond together, the table salt is what's left. Now, poly means more than one, mean there's at least another atom in the ion. There was a charge across the molecules, five from neutral, then force non zero protons, electrons sum to the result. The overall charge is a superscript on the chemical formula we're dealing with. Each ion has a name based on its components. You're gonna do so much better if you know this. Many ions with oxygen follow a rule for their names. As the number of atoms increases, the name will change accordingly. Here's four ions, chlorine at the center, oxygen count ranges one to four. I'll have a charge of minus one, and the names are similar. There you go, have a chloride, chloride, chlorate, the chlorate, easy as they can be. The prefix and suffix are based on the count, just the central atoms bonding capability. Now nitride and nitrate follow the same pattern as before. Both minus one and nitrogen center with two or three oxygens. Another minus one ion that looks the same, MnO4, that's the manganate. Now this might get a little weird, it's true, cause the next three ions have a negative two. Sulfite, sulfate, carbonate, three, four, three oxygens respectively. And PO4 is phosphate, but its charge is minus three. Now the next ones you might recognize Hydroxide, peroxide, cyanide OH minus 1, O2 minus 2 CN minus 1 laid out for you Now ions from before can have some extra atoms added They don't make them neutral, the charge is reduced though And we get to see what's left Take sulfate and carbonate from previously Add a hydrogen to both the formula and the name Add one of the charges, minus 1 resultant By sulfate and by carbonate are all the ways to say phosphate can do it too but the difference is it can do it twice hydrogen phosphate to hydrogen phosphate minus two and one are the charges to satisfy there's a couple ones that are a little random so we'll just go through i promise you'll be able to keep up and all their charges are negative too oxalate c2o4 thiosulfate s2o3 Chromate CRO4, dichromate CR2O7, that's easy. We've almost made it to the positive ions. But there's a couple random molecules left. Charge is negative one. Thiocyanate, SCN. It's easy, that's true. But the last negative one's acetate, C2H3O2. There's two ions left, but instead they're positive. Plus one and plus two are the charges. The first is ammonium and H4, but the last one is metal. It's HG2 mercury with a one Roman numeral. Now you know the basic polyatomic ions. I hope you learned today. Stay tuned for more AP fun.